I analyzed Roger Federer's serve using artificial intelligence. And in this video, I'm gonna share some stuff about his serve you have probably never seen before, like his vertical hip displacement. That's how fast his back hip is coming up when he swings. And using AI, we measured it. It's moving up at 24.9 miles an hour. And the reason that's important is because the speed at which your back hip fires is directly correlated with the speed of your serve. And we're gonna compare Roger's serve to Teresa, a club player. And if you're anything like Teresa, then by simply improving this one thing, you could add a ton of power, spin, and consistency to your serve. And if you wanna measure your vertical hip displacement, and you wanna learn how to improve it, then I wanna invite you to pre-order a lesson with Bert. Bert is our AI tennis coach that's in development, and I am super excited about it because I think it has the power to transform your serve. So picture this, when Bert is ready, you're gonna be able to go out to the tennis court, take out your phone, and using your phone's camera, Bert is gonna be able to watch you serve and tell you everything you're doing wrong and how to fix it because Bert uses something called computer vision, which is a very cool branch of artificial intelligence. And what computer vision allows an AI to do is watch a video and understand and measure everything that is happening in that video. And the coolest thing about computer vision and why this is gonna be such a game changer for your serve is that computer vision can see, measure, and calculate things that the human eye, the human eye just has a hard time seeing this stuff. So Bert's gonna be able to tell you things about your serve that nobody has ever told you before. So to truly transform your serve, it's not enough for computer vision to just see what you're doing and give you a more precise measurement than the human eye. It's like when you're running a fever. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do the hand test and you're gonna say, okay, I'm running a little bit hot. And then you are gonna get out a tool that allows you to precisely measure what your temperature is. All right, I'm 101.2 degrees but knowing your precise temperature isn't enough, then you gotta go to the doctor because the doctor is gonna tell you why you have a fever. Is it the common cold? Is it the flu? Is it an allergic reaction? And then based on whichever one of those it is, the doctor is gonna prescribe you a specific treatment. And that's what we wanted Bert to be able to do. So let's say for example, at contact, you have over-rotated. There are a number of reasons that might happen. You might have a poor side on position. You might have foot around. You might have an early racket drop, whatever. Well, Bert is going to be able to say, hey, okay, you've over-rotated, but which one of these mistakes did you make that caused you to over-rotate? And for Bert to be able to do that, we had to bring in Dr. Mark Kovacs to the development team. Now, Dr. Kovacs is one of the world's leading experts on tennis biomechanics how your body should be moving when you hit a forehand, a backhand, or a serve. And he actually has the world's leading study on the serve. It's called an eight-stage model for evaluating the tennis serve. It's been peer-reviewed twice. It won him the International Tennis Hall of Fame's Educational Merit Award. He was the youngest ever recipient. And you can read it on NIH's, the National Institute of Health website. So Dr. Kovacs is based out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's got a lab down there, the Kovacs Institute. And for years, players from all around the world, whether it's pro players or club players like you and me, have flown down to Atlanta, Georgia, and gone to Dr. Kovacs's lab. And when they're there, he'd put them through a battery of tests. He would measure their serves by having them, you know, serve off of force plates, stuff like that. And that's how he would take your serves temperature but then he would say, well, your serve in this area has got a fever, but here's why. Here is the reason this is a problem, and here's what you should do to fix it. So when I saw what Dr. Kovacs was doing, I said, Mark, I want everything in this lab and the ability to measure everything about a serve on my phone. And then I want your brain on my phone because I want people anywhere in the world at any time that is convenient to them to be able to go to the tennis court, point their phone at themselves, hit a serve, and have an AI measure everything that they're doing, including the stuff the human eye cannot see, and tell them the mistakes they're making and how to fix them. So Bert is still in the early stages of development, but let's go under the hood. We're gonna look at a club player named Teresa. And Teresa, thank you for letting us uh, take a look at your serve. So let's bring in Dr. Kovacs over Zoom, and he's gonna show us exactly what this mistake is. 
So with Teresa Serve, we're looking at her hip displacement or potentially lack of hip displacement, specifically the back hip. The, the biggest thing to notice is how straight the leg is. So there's really no bend in the knee, which is one of the visual cues that we can look at to see how far the hip is moving. If the hip from a standing position is neutral, we're looking to see how low the hip drops. And in Teresa's example, there really isn't any dropping at all. So there's no knee bend. The hip doesn't move down at all. So there's really no loading going on in that back leg. And that's one of the big factors that allows individuals to get good power on their serve, but also allows them to get good height and leverage uh, above, the, above the court. So it's really, really important in the service motion. When we compare Teresa's start position to where she finishes at contact, we get a slight upward trajectory in the hip displacement. So there is some vertical movement, but it's very minimal, meaning that she does not really utilize that back hip successfully and doesn't generate the velocity that we're looking from from that hip. And if we take Teresa's serve and compare it to say Roger Federer's is during stage three of loading, the back hip is definitely lower than the starting position, meaning that Federer's loading his back leg, specifically his back glute, getting the quads engaged as well. And from that lower position, he's then able to explode up and really be more uh, violent with that back leg thrust or the hip displacement. So when he starts, he's got approximately 20 to 30 degrees um, of hip displacement that is allowing it to move uh, down. So if you're thinking of it in inches, let's say, it's a few inches of hip displacement moving down that allows the lower body to load. And then, as a result of that, it allows him to explode up and get high off the ground and keeps his body side on, which allows him to then go in and make successful contact. So hip displacement is one of the most important factors in serve velocity. And this is a great example of someone that doesn't optimize it and then comparing it to someone who does optimize it. So the beauty of computer vision is it allows us to actually track that hip displacement. We can look at it in degrees per second, which is more of a lab term, but a more practical way to really analyze it is in miles per hour or kilometers per hour to see how quickly the hip actually moves from that downloaded position to that fully extended position. So how much does it move in a vertical direction and how quickly can it move? This is something that the human eye really can't um, evaluate just by looking at video or looking at someone in real time. And this is where the uh, computer vision allows us to actually put metrics in an accurate way on a very important movement that really helps to determine what someone's serve speed is going to be. Okay, so what we are doing is taking all of that and putting it in an app on your phone so that you can serve better. More power, more consistency, better placement, you know the drill. And so here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna go out to the tennis court and you're gonna film yourself serving and then Bert is going to produce your results. So this is a mock-up, but you can see that Bert has prioritized Teresa's mistakes. The biggest mistake is uh, vertical hip displacement, then you've got arm angle, then you've got foot around and so on, right? It's just gonna prioritize all of the mistakes you are making on your serve. So if I'm Teresa and I wanna look at mistake number one, I'm gonna swipe over and then you've got the wireframe, but it's going to drop out so you can isolate the vertical hip displacement. And then if I want to see how I stack up compared to a pro, I'm going to swipe again. And now we've got Teresa compared to Roger Federer, which just makes it very clear how Federer in this case has got 2.6 times more vertical hip displacement than Teresa does. Okay, cool. Well, now how do I fix it? Well, what you're going to do is swipe over. And now we have a drill with Dr. Kovacs where this drill is going to specifically address vertical hip displacement and how you can get your hip firing a lot faster and a lot higher. So that's Bert. That's what we're building. He's got the eyes of a computer and the brain of Dr. Kovacs.
We're putting all of that in an easy to use intuitive app. So we're doing a pre-order for a lesson with Bert. Our developers are saying Bert will be ready in about six to eight months. And so we're doing a pre-order right now. There's a special deal. This is gonna be the best deal you can ever get on a lesson with Bert. So why are we doing this? Well, educating Bert is actually pretty expensive. If you've got a kid in college right now, imagine the cost of sending them to college and then sending them to graduate school and then putting a down payment on their first house. That's about how much it's gonna to cost to educate Bert and have him do all the things that we want him to do. So this is sort of like a Kickstarter campaign if you're familiar with those. And in return for you pre-ordering a lesson with Bert, for helping us uh, fund Bert's education, you're gonna get that lesson when it's ready, but you're also gonna get a lot of awesome stuff right now. So the first thing I wanna hook you up with is the 100 mile an hour club. And this is for everybody who wants to hit harder, who wants to break triple digits. So we've been talking about Bert's computer vision, but I don't want you to have to wait to start working on your serve. So what about all the mistakes the human eye can see? Well, that's what we've got inside the 100 mile an hour club. We've got all the mistakes and all the fixes for the stuff the human eye can see. And so for every mistake and every fix, if I click the play button down here, a video is gonna pop up with Dr. Mark Kovacs where he shows you what the mistake is and how to fix it. So in the past, we have sold the 100 mile an hour club for 199 bucks, but I'm gonna throw this in completely free when you pre-order a lesson with Bert today. So the next thing you're getting is Tennis Over 40. This is a brand new program we have never released before. Some of y'all watching this might have the older version. This is the updated, bigger and better version. So after you turn 45, you lose 1% of your muscle mass each year unless you do something about it. And that means you lose power, speed, quickness, and become more prone to injury. Now, typical gym exercises like push-ups, sit-ups, and bench press, uh, those work the big muscles, but completely ignore the smaller stabilizing muscles, allowing you to transfer energy from the ground through your body and into the tennis ball. And in this program, Dr. Mark Kovacs is gonna show you his step-by-step -step exercise program so that you can reverse muscle loss, increase stability, and play like you're 10 years younger. Now, when we released the original, that's not as good as this updated version, we charged $499, but you're gonna get this completely free as a bonus. You're gonna get immediate access to it when you pre-order a lesson with Bert today. Oh, and if you're wondering why we're calling him Bert, well, originally we wanted to name him Roger after you know who, because Roger knows perfect technique. But my dad is a lawyer and he was like, mm, you might get a, uh, a lawsuit. So then my mom suggested, why don't you just call him Bert? So that's what we've been calling him ever since we've been referring to him as Bert. I don't know if that's what we're ultimately gonna call him, but that's the working title. Tell you what, if you pre-order today, then you will be able to vote on the final name. Bert's it. Bert's it. So the next bonus is called Big Data Serving with analytics expert Craig O'Shaughnessy. He used to run analytics for Novak Djokovic. Now, holding serve, obviously you have to have great technique. We got you covered there with Bert. But what about your serve strategy? In this program, what he did is he went through every single point in a game. So love all or 15 love, love 15. 30 all, 40 all, I mean, just every single point, every single possible point in the game. And looking at a large data set, he analyzed what were the most effective serves and what was the most effective strategy to back up that serve for every single point, the ones that would give you the best chance of holding serve as often as possible. So for example, if the score is uh, 1540, well, Craig's gonna tell you exactly what serve to hit and what strategy to use. When you get it to 30-40, he's gonna do the same thing. What serve should you hit? What strategy should you use now that you're in the ad court? And then you get it to deuce, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is an awesome compliment to Bert, right? Bert's gonna fix your technique and big data serving is gonna fix your serve strategy. Now, in the past, we have sold this program for $499, but you get it for free. You get instant access right now when you pre-order your serve lesson with Bert here on this page. Now, the final bonus is called Match Rescue, and it's with mental game expert Jeff Greenwald. So every single tennis player has been in a situation where they start the match playing great, 
but then as the match progresses and as things get tight, the finish line is in sight, the wheels fall off the wagon, right? Your go-to shot, whether it's your serve or your forehand or backhand, you're not hitting it that well. Uh, maybe you start pushing because you're nervous. And so the question then becomes, how do you get those shots back and how do you get them back quickly? So this is all mental game stuff. And Jeff is one of the top mental game experts in the world when it comes to tennis. And he practices what he preaches. So he takes all of his techniques and he actually uses them on court. He won the USDA 40s National Hardcourt Championships as a 51 year old. So Jeff's got his mental game together and inside match rescue, he's gonna show you all the techniques he uses and all the techniques he's taught his students so that under pressure, you're not gonna push and you can actually go for and make your shots. Normally this program is 199 bucks, but just like everything else, you get it for free when you pre-order your lesson with Bert. So here's the deal. When you pre-order a lesson with Bert, you are getting that lesson for the cheapest it is ever going to be. You are also getting the 100 mile an hour club, a $199 value for free. You're getting Tennis Over 40, the brand new version, a $499 value for free. You are getting Big Data Serving, a $499 value for free and you are getting Match Rescue, a $199 value. Also for free, you add up all of that, it is $1,396 worth of trainings. You get access to right now, the second you scroll down this page and click that button to pre-order your lesson with Bert. So when you scroll down this page, you are gonna see three options. And the first one is the $67 pre-order of one lesson with Bert. Now, then there's a $500 option, and this is for unlimited lessons with Bert. This is the lifetime option, right? So imagine you went to a tennis coach, you handed him 500 bucks, and then for the rest of your life, whenever you wanted a lesson, he would give you a lesson. That's what this is with Bert. The third option is the $1,500 option, and this is where you and four people you choose. So five people total, could be your USTA buddies, could be a family member, could be a student, whoever. They all get lifetime access. So five people are gonna get lifetime access to Burt's and obviously 1500 divided by five is $300 per person. This is limited to the first 20 people who select this option. And if you select the $1,500 option, not only are you getting all of the bonuses, but so are the four other people that you are selecting to get lifetime access to Burt's. So just wanted to make that clear. So whatever level you decide to support Bert's development, Bert's education, so that we can then help tennis players all around the world uh, uh, serve a lot faster, uh, more consistently with more spin. I really appreciate you uh, helping out with this project. I think it's gonna be super awesome. It's gonna transform your serve. So just scroll down this page, pick one of those options, and uh, we'll let you know when Bert is ready to go. And in the meantime, as soon as you pre-order that lesson, uh, you're gonna have access to all of the bonuses so you can start improving your serve and uh, uh, all the other parts of your game right now. Mark, how do you feel about the fact that we're taking, yeah, your brain, everything you know, and putting it on this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's exciting if, if people can learn something and we can utilize it in a good way, help people serve faster, serve more consistently, and hopefully, you know, stay healthier as they do it. That, that'll be the goal, and that's the exciting part of the project. Here's the question we haven't figured out is when Bert gives people advice, are we going to have Bert have an Australian accent? Like, what are we going to do there? Yeah. You want me to do voiceover like Chris Fowler did for the Madden game? Well, yeah, they, they, they locked him in a studio for two or three days, he said, and they literally did every possible play. You know, five yards sweep right. Oh, touchdown. Or, you know, whatever else they would need him to say. Say, nice serve, mate. Nice serve, mate. <laughs> there we go. We got it.